Where is that new guy with my latte? Mr. President, we made sure that Matt Tia wanted to troll the players. What? What do you mean the TCG players aren't lacking spirals? What do you mean they're only good when you're fusing with Zodiacs? You know what, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna release the new stuff via the Italian Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook group and see how everyone take it. What? Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Matter of fact, scratch that. Cut all the ideas and give them a card that says banish two cards in the field. Make it an equip spell. Make it, we're gonna make this better than Nova Knights. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the TCG players will not know what hit them. <laughs> What's good everybody? So, right now what you guys are about to view is my Spyro deck profile post Maximum Crisis. So yeah, let's begin starting by saying um, this deck is post Maximum Crisis with the amount of testing I've done in about 12 hours or so and I think it's a pretty solid build for what's to come in the next set. And then after the deck profile, we got some awesome replays showcasing the power of the deck. So like I always tell you guys, without further ado, let's begin. So getting straight into the profile, we got the one Spiral Sleeper. Spiral Sleeper is a very solid card in the deck. You guys already know what it does, but for you guys that do not know, you must banish three Spiral cards out of your graveyard. You bring them to the, pit, into the field. You can use this effect to pop one Spiral on your field. Pop two cards on your opponent's side of the field. And if he will be destroyed by battle or by card effect or whatever, however he's destroyed, you blow up your field and you bring out an agent from your hand deck or graveyard. Very solid card. Definitely a stable as a one of in the deck. He's every time I run out, I pretty much won the game. It was over. The three agents. Um, I like the side, I like the original agent more than um, Spiral Tough. Just due to the fact that he can special summon, he pops back row. You bring him out with your um. Anyway, you bring him out, he pops back row when he special summon from a Spiral card effect. He reveals your top cards your opponent's deck. The list going on from there. Agents is a solid card. You have to run him at three. I mean, the deck revolves around him. And I don't run Spiral Tough because I don't think the card is that great. Way too slow. Way too slow. Now, three Spiral Good Last Resort. Cut my life in two pieces. This is my last resort. Okay. <laughs> that car, this card is so good for what he does. Making your um, agent indestructible by battle, by card effects is so good. I mean, by targeting effects, really. And then you can search, he can equip to more than just an agent. You can search him out your quick fix to stall the opponent. You can do so many combos you guys have seen on uh, replays. So good at three. I thought it was gonna be two of, but three of is definitely a staple. The one random maxi, because maxi is just good in this format. For some reason, you drive more when it's at one than it's at three. Go figure, right? That's that card game look for you. Three quick fixes because it's a staple on the day. Quick fix, you know, the spamming with him is so, really great. Then we got the three spiral gear drones. Think about cutting them down to a two to one. Three gear drones is still great. Spin out those rank one plays. Pumping up your agent for those random OTKs. Think gear drone is still good at three because it combos with agent. And the whole deck pretty much just revolves around agent. Um, nothing more to be said about that. Gear drone is just a good solid card in general. We have the one one for one just for combo plays with um, gear drone and quick fix. The one ragaki. The three machine duplication is due to the fact that machine duplication is very powerful. You can machine double off your machine your um gear drone to go from some awesome damage to pump up your agent if your opponent has a heavy feel. You can also machine dupe up your quick fix for more combo plays, which is nutty. I mean the, the, the fact that this card is exist for this deck is just so good. Three terraformer for consistency, one foolish barrel for those times you want to drop your agent in your grave, drop your quick fix in the grave. This is a combo piece honestly speaking. Three twin twisters because it's so solid of a card and a lot of times in this deck you want to pitch cards to the graveyard to get the ball rolling. So and then pop back real core. Three gear big red for the combos. Um, and then plus it's three monsters. One part wouldn't you want to run that card? Now, three of the fully armed. Fully armed is such a card in this deck, and it's definitely a card the deck needed. Now, me personally, before this um, card came out, I thought the deck would needed some draw power. The draw power would help, but we do have the three terraforming and resource for the consistency. But three fully armed is great for you guys who do not know what it does. It pumps your agent up by a thousand. And then when you attack with your agent, he battles a monster. You can banish that monster and another card in your opponent's out of the field from the field. And so that's just so good. And then if it is destroyed, you get your agent out of your graveyard. So what is there not like about Fully Arm? Fully Arm would have been amazing if it could be equipped to any spiral, but I'll take what I can get. Then you get three resorts. You guys already know resorts amazing just with recycling back all your spiral cards, etc. etc. Um utility wire, you take it as a one of. Honestly speaking, it's not that great. More of a win more card. Um, might take it out. Right now it's just a solid one of I did testing for this video. 
Then I got this three solemn strikes, the one solemn warning. Now, honestly, guys, the extra day don't matter. I've only made rank ones in this deck and dueling. I usually run with just the monsters in general. It's kind of like how it was before. I run the Utopia combo because they're there. Um, and a lot of the um, builds that's popular online, people like to run the Utopia Kaiser build, which honestly probably would be the best build, but not everyone has YCS prize card money and or want to pay for that card. So if you guys are on a budget like me, this is a solid extra deck for you. Utopia combo, um, Third King Alvarage, Black Ship Corn. I mean, this is all random stuff, honestly. You guys can take this extra deck with a grain of salt. One Harlan Draco, one Castell, one Abyss Dweller. One Dante, he's probably shouldn't even be in here because I don't run the rank threes no more. Um, one goes to Doolahan. Gold Red, and I will tell you, Gold Red is very solid still in the deck. For those machine do plays turn one, this deck still lacks a great turn one play. So Gold Red cycling through your deck helping you search out resort is really great. Um, so yeah, this is really good. When you machine dupe off a quick fix turn one, you have nothing. You add three amazing cards to your deck. May Gold Red can just draw through your deck so good. And then the, these um, two cards that are just solid rank ones, and then um, Slacker Magician because it's like, say, a solid card. So now that we have our deck profile part of the video, post your thoughts about the deck profile in the comment section down below. And yeah, let's get to the replay, guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the first replay for the um, for the um, video. Playing off against um, dinosaurs, he opened up pretty lackluster. He tried to hit me with the Imperial Order, but I wasn't having that because I had the quick fix um, agent combo. Popped the Imperial Order, and yes, he had a one-off max two, which was really terrible. But with that being said, I'm still gonna um, able to pop that what he's doing pretty much. And in this build, I'm running the Spiral Mission Assault, not running it in the, in the main build you guys already see, because this is just my play testing process for the deck. And for my testing, I found Assault to be just lackluster and too slow for the current form I ran, especially against decks like Dinosaurs. Now, as you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna do an awesome combo with Quick Fix and search out all the resources I need. Now, I believe I OTK the opponent this turn, if I'm not mistaken. And if I don't, I'm just having an awesome feel. So you got the fully arm, you got um, the last resort and go rat. This is just cycle through your deck, and you guys can see all the searching I'm doing, and I'm making defenses for my opponent. And you guys can see how fast everything is. I got the fully arm, I got the um, last resort, I got my agent double equipped. And I have another last resort in my hand, so if I really wanted to, I can equip it to my quick fix to make more stalling plays. And my opponent's down to 1100, as you guys can see, since I got last resort on the field. I can really kind of got game over. I can just attack my opponent for a game, which I believe is what I do right here, guys. So I use the last resort effect and hit the opponent for a game. Really simple, really easy effect to do. Replay ended. Let me go to the next replay. So in this duel, I'm going up against a um, DDD player. Very solid game. He opens up pretty good with the Gen Genghis Khan and the Didi Lamia and the Lamia combos, which is really great. What you, what they really want to do. So yeah, he makes the clear one Stinker Dragon, makes that searching card, and some Didi card I haven't seen in this turn. And at this point, I open up Resort and I opened up my, um, yeah, pretty pretty combo hand. Got the Quick Fix, and I think I did pretty good. I get the Machine Dupe to activate my quick fixes back. And I believe he, I was trying to bait out the clear wing single dragon. And I believe he does try to negate the effect and it doesn't matter because I have big red in hand. Big red is so good because it spams your deck back. So yeah, he tries to negate the agent. And I, no, he negates something. And I just, it just doesn't matter because I just stop, stop, start. Yeah, I start stopping his plays and just spamming the board with quick fixes. And my agent's at 29. He gets to use fully armor effect to banish that card and banish his other monster and clear his board, which is really great. And really excited as you guys can see right now. And I can bring out the big red, search out the gear drone, arrange his deck, make slacker magician, make downer magician, and have a very solid board against the opponent. And shuffle back my deck, of course, because that's what spirals want to do. And as you guys can see, I use my um utility wire prematurely due to the fact that honestly I was thirsty and I thought that um he was gonna search my on my following turn because I wasn't reading cards. Honestly, I did this play testing. Um a little under the edge. So he starts off his combos again, makes some big red dragon to roll over my Ghost Trick Doolahan. For some reason, I couldn't use my fag. I think I just couldn't. And he gamma sealed my um, agent, which was like, whatever. And at this point, this doesn't matter. I'm going to search out another agent. I had the big red to just span the field back. I can pop his back row. And at this point, it's just GG, no read. As you guys are going to see right here. Agent's at 39. Then I, I use the um, Gidron Run Effective Graveyard add agent at the hand. Spam out the um, quick fix, and you guys can saw it was GG no re. Really good, really solid, really powerful play from me. 
Let me see the next replay. So the next replay is against another dinosaur player. If I remember this game, it ended pretty fast. I don't think he um had enough things to do. I opened up the Max Two against him, which is great. And I believe at this point, I took the Spiral Gear Assault out of my deck, which was some of the things I needed to do. And his opening was really slow. He didn't really have a powerful field. He didn't make the VDF card. And I just go off from here. He doesn't have any back row. There's no point for me not to go off. So I bring out the agent, use Gear Drone, pump agent up. I have Regeki. Now I tweaked, honestly, when I regek him, I forgot Babble Boom actually spans the field, which was kind of crappy. But then I also remember I had fully armor hand, so I'm like, okay, I can equip him with fully armor and banish both his monsters, which is what I'm going to do right here. Use fully armor to wipe his board. And you resort to cycle back everything else. And his hand, looking at his hand from now, it was lackluster. But he's still not going to be able to do some plays. You know, dinosaurs are just really consistent in what they can do. So um, he um, starts out the dinosaur, and I, I'm thinking at this point, I'm in a good position. I got the Resort, I got the Fully Armor, I'm protected, and then he busts out Utopia, and I'm like, oh crap, he can't make Utopia, which is really great. Um, Utopia is a sort of busted card, but if I can pump my Spiral Guy up more than that, he can't. He wouldn't be able to do nothing. Now, this is where you guys are going to see the power of Sleeper, because Sleeper's going to come in and just wreck his face, as you guys will see right now. So I use um, Gear Drone, bring out my Agent again, then... I'm going to pump out my agent, 29, pump out sleeper, use sleeper, pop, out, pop quick fix, pop a fill, and attack for a game once again. Now, realistically speaking, at this point, I could have brung out quick fix again, and got a get big red, and did more combo plays, but I just didn't need to because it was already a game at that point right here. And let me show you guys, let me show you, I think it was another small replay right here. Let me see what it looks like. Okay, so yeah, this is another little small replay I did against another dinosaur. So I think it's the same dinosaur player, if I'm not mistaken. So he starts doing off the instant fusion combos. He wants to make totally awesome dinosaurs first turn. And he does it, but I had to maxi, luckily. That one off maxi, I'm telling you guys. For some reason, guys, when you have cars at one, you always never, you always draw. When you have cars at three, you never draw them. What a coincidence. Like, what a coincidence. So he, I bet out the frog. He uses the frog effect. And I, I started using resort. He uses his, um... Dimensional Barrier, which does nothing against Spirals. I guess he was um so used to the, the build that spins out that Utopia Kaiser card that makes the OTK Ferocious Boards. So I'm just going straight into just beast down Agent Control. Now I will tell you guys why this deck is good. It is scarcity to um, against decks that want to run Prohibition. So if people catch on to Prohibition in the near future, this deck is not going to be that great to run, honestly speaking. And last but not least... We are going to have a last match against DDDs. So let's see. He goes for the Allure of Darkness play. Set, set, and turn. I have Regeki. And we're going to try to go off with some awesome combos right here. So let's see what he's doing. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, he shoots. And I make the, um, the Spiral General combo without resort. Just a quick, quick pass. And I have a 29 agent. And he can be targeted, which is really great. Kind of reminiscent of the Nova Knight deck, and he goes for Hyper Librarian. Don't he don't do much in this game, honestly, and he just passes a turn. I'm like, okay. Um, I did draw Machine Dupe. Now this is one bad card on a card like Machine Dupe in decks like this. Since it's so combo paced, you can draw those brick hands where if you're open the double machine dupe, you're pretty much in a bad position. But that big card in my hand does play a good part in having some consistency. But right now he's just doing Islamia combos, and he's gonna activate that soul charge, I believe, as well. And once I activate the surge charge, I'm like, okay, um, if I draw my, a gear drone, which I think I do, I'm, I'm going to have game. I'm going to be able to attack directly. So at that point, I'm just like, okay, all I need to do is just attack directly. Because he's not going to attack me at this point. I have two machine dupes. And, yeah, I'm just like, okay, he's doing his combo, making one combo feel. I'm like, okay. And I got lucky and drew the machine dupes. So I was pretty happy about that. I baited the first um, guy with the uh, regeki, which is pretty cool. Summon Gear Drone, uh, Machine Dupe, he Hope Harbinger. I go for the Machine Dupe again. And at this point, I just got gang. So I'm going to pump my um, agent up and just use Last Resource Effect and attack for game. And yeah, that was a pretty solid match, guys. So, with all that being said, guys, post your thoughts and opinions about my Spiral deck in the comment section down below. If you guys think I can improve on the deck, also post your thoughts and opinions on the deck in the comment section down below. Me, personally, I think the deck has a lot of potential in the upcoming format, and it's definitely a solid deck. From testing, it's tier 1.5, not just not necessarily tier 1 yet, it's tier 1.5, the deck does have its flaws, but from the early stages of my testing, this is the best version. 
So, with all being said, if you're new to your channel, I'd love for you to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I upload three days a week. Well, not three days a week. What I'm talking about. I upload pretty much four days a week now with one live stream at the end of the week. So, yeah, this is Christmas Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm signing out. Also, one more thing. I have started a Patreon. You guys can find a link to the Patreon in the description below. So, yeah, this is, um, so, yeah, join the Patreon to support your boy. So, this is Christmas Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm signing out. Peace, guys. Stay in the middle. Deuce.